Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and this is a continuation of my series on listening to 30 megahertz and above. And previous show I talked about using um, some kind of scanner device, either using a USB TV dongle or just a regular scanner. So today I'm going to show you one of my favorite scanners. In reason, this is one of my favorite scanners. Is number one, I got it for practically nothing. I got this in the box. It was almost brand new, and I think I paid like thirty dollars for it. It's a, a multi-band radio Radio Shack scanner model Pro Dash Four O Four. And here are some of the features here. It, um, it has a patented, man, maybe it's not patented, but it has a feature that you find you found on Radio Shack scanners called the Signal Stalker. And what that allows you to do is it scans the entire spectrum that this radio can scan in like a less than a couple of seconds looking for a strong signal most likely nearby. I have another scanner that I take to um, baseball games with me and I have it put in that mode and it'll pick up any traffic transmissions that's going on within the stadium. In the particular stadium I go to, all of the security, the personnel that works there in the, in the uh, refreshment stands, all that stuff, they're using radios that that scanner can pick up and I can monitor what's going on, such as when, you know, somebody gets hit by a ball or they in the summertime they pass out. I get to hear that activity. Anyway, um, another thing that I like about this radio, and maybe I should zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little closer. There it's running right now. Move it up a little bit. Ooh, look at that reflection there. Got some reflection off the light above it. Anyway, um, there, get away from that reflection. He is, it has something called service bands. And these buttons up here, these orange buttons, are set up to automatically scan certain frequencies in a service, such as police, marine, ham, and weather. That's a couple of them. And so you just push one of these buttons and it automatically starts scanning in those bands. And just those bands, just, just those specific frequencies or bands. Now, right now, I've got it scanning the marine band. So what it's doing is it's scanning all the frequencies that are designated for marine. There's like 88 channels. And I'll get to those in a few minutes. So it's scanning and only scanning those. I have the equivalent desktop model of this. I don't remember the number. And I use it a lot for that reason. I just push one of those buttons and it'll start monitoring um, those particular frequencies. And we'll get to those frequencies later. Uh, it has a display backlight. There it is. Pretty good backlight. It doesn't show up very well because i got a lot of lights on. But um, it's amber. Amber backlight. It's got storage for 200 frequencies that you can program in. 200. Um, other things. Oh, it also has a computer interface. So if you have the right cables and software, you can program it via your computer instead of having to manually type in all the numbers and stuff like that. So I'm going to skip over the rest of the stuff. So, like I say, this is the Radio Shack Pro-404. Now, let me go move the radio out of the way. These are, you know, I need to zoom out a little bit. So I can get a little bit, it's kind of a, do I zoom in or do I zoom out? Um, these are the pre-programmed service bank frequencies that, when it comes from the manufacturer, these are pre-programmed in. And, for instance... It has, as I mentioned, it has the Marine Service Bank. You just push that particular button 
and it starts scanning those frequencies, only those frequencies, and there's 88 channels um, that it scans. And for instance, this is a holiday weekend because it's Mother's Day tomorrow. And so there will be, and it's the weather here in Florida uh, on the West Coast is perfect today. It's down in the low 60s this morning and I'll only be getting up to the low 80s with lots of sunshine. So it's a perfect day for boating, for instance. So a lot of people will be out there on their boats. They'll be using their radios, including um, the Coast Guard and companies that help people that are stranded. So the activity is going to be pretty good this weekend. So that's something I'll be listening to. So all I can say, all you have to do on the radio is just push this button here, which is for the Marine Service Band. That's all you have to do, and it starts scanning. Okay. The next one is for, now oh, starting to get busy, um, is for Fire Police Service Band, which has, unfortunately, changed a lot over the years. And this particular scanner only uh, scans or only receives from about 29.9 megahertz to 512. It doesn't go above 512, which most of your newer scanners within the last five or six years or maybe even longer will go above that and you pick up the other frequencies that are now being used, for instance, um, police fire EMS is using frequencies up in the 800 megahertz range. So this radio will not pick those up. If you're in a rural area, they the police and fire may still be using those lower frequencies, so therefore it would work. So that's the service band for fire and police, and it scans all these frequency ranges. These are ranges. These are not specific frequencies. These are ranges. For instance, um, one that was quite popular was around 154 megahertz to 160 megahertz. That used to be very popular for police EMS, um, service trucks, and things like that. Next one is, and it's another one I use, is the Aircraft Service Bank. And that's for mainly uh, commercial aircraft, private aircraft, non-military. This, this radio does not receive the military aircraft ban. So it's another shortcoming again. Uh, and that particular ban, a military ban, there are only specific scanners that will receive that band. So if you want that band, you've got to look and see if a particular scanner you're looking at has that capability. So if you push that button, which is um, aircraft, the little airplane signal right there. So you push that button, it'll scan those, in this case, two bands, which is 108 megahertz to 118, 118.0125 to 136.9875. So we can do that right now. And we'll see if we got any aircraft capability that I could pick up. So it's scanning that now. That's all I do is to push that button and it's scanning those bands. Unlike Marine, the Marine service band it has specific frequencies because there's only 38, or excuse me, 88 frequencies in that band. Now, I'm at a disadvantage here that I'm using the, the uh, telescopic antenna. Well, not telescopic, excuse me, the rubber duck it's called, antenna, built in, not built in, but antenna. I'll get it right in a minute. Um, but that can be taken off. I see it's coming. Oh, man, that's tip connection. You can tell this is brand brand new. That's uh, really a stiff connection there. And so it's got a B and C connector, which I can connect an outside antenna, which is ideally what you want as an outside antenna. Um, 
and get much better reception. So for instance, uh, do I have an outside antenna that I can hook up? Yeah, but I don't have the adapter. Anyway, so I could do that and get much better reception. And maybe I'll try that in a few minutes. So, and the only problem you run into there, or one of the problems you run into there, boy, this thing is tight, is um, you might overload the radio because it's used to using this rubber ducky antenna, which typically these rubber duck antennas are not very good. So you'd want to shop around, and if you're going to use, you know, this type of antenna, get a better quality one. These typically that come out with the radio, they're okay, but they're just not as good as what you can have. So that's that band. Now the next band is, or bands, is, oh, the one thing I forgot to mention, and I'll mention it now, is that in some of these service bands, such as the police and fire, you have choices of three sectors to scan. Is, I, can, I can call it basically for the fire and police, low, medium, and high frequencies. And you can turn those off and back on. That is the reason, I'll recall, that's the reason I got this radio so cheap, is if you make the mistake and turn all these off, you can't turn them back on. So you have to leave at least one on. So when I got it, it wouldn't scan the service bands because some, the previous owner had turned all these bands off. And like I say, the little quirk, well, once you turn them all off, and I mean in a, in a given service, like for instance, this fire and police, there's three options. Once you turn the, all three of them off, you can't turn them back on. But what you can do is it has, the radio has a reset button that will set everything back to the factory settings, which means all these will come back. So when I got it, I played with it for a while and then I go, maybe I just need to do a reset. At first I was thinking, oh boy, I got a radio that doesn't work. I did that factory reset, everything came back. So brand new radio for less than $30. Anyway, continuing on. So here's the next one is the amateur radio bands that this receiver can receive. It doesn't receive HF or shortwave, only UHF and VHF. So it can receive 29.00 to 29.7, 50 to 54, 144 to 148, and 420 to 450. And you can turn off any one of those or any number of those. Just don't turn them all off. Okay, the last one is the weather channels. And these are specific frequencies. There's only seven of them. So you can you can turn those off or on also. So if you want to use this as a uh, monitor for the weather and using these channels, boom, you just hit that button and away you go. You can turn off the ones that are too far away from you that you know you won't pick up. That way you can scan faster. Or you can just turn all but one off. And then, uh, and then when you want to listen to the weather, you hit the, that weather button, the, the orange weather button, and boom, it's on that frequency. Or you can just program in that frequency. So this is one of those radios. And like I say, I, I checked this morning, and they've, there's several of these on eBay. Of course, when you buy from eBay, you have to be careful. You know, you don't get a dead radio like I almost did. Uh, so be careful. And I think they were ranging from prices. It was one for five dollars, but it had some problems, so you wouldn't want that one. But there were some that you know looked advertised as they worked and acted normal for thirty dollars and up. So this is a cool little radio again. Again, you can program it to your own frequencies you want. You have 20 memories that you can program in. Um, it's pretty easy to use, and the one thing about the Radio Shack line of scanners, they were easy to program, pretty easy to program. They weren't real fancy, at least the early on ones like this one. I don't know how old this is, 
I don't know if it's got a date on the back of it or not. No, it doesn't have a date. But I'm pretty sure this is pretty old. It's probably, although, um, I forgot the name of the company, but the company that, that basically bought out the rights to the Radio Shack and the GRE, that, that's the company that made radios for Radio Shack, that company um, has one that's very similar to this, brand new one that's similar to this. It's like, I think it's $95 though. But anyway, this is a method of listening to frequencies above 30 megahertz. And I like this feature that's got these pre-programmed channels so that you can hear, um, quickly start listening to certain service bands. And I think it's stuck on a frequency now. Yeah. Stuck on this frequency right now. So that's probably some kind of interference from my monitor or something. I can push the lockout button if I could find it. Lockout button. And it locks out that particular frequency until I do a reset. So if you, you're getting, if you're picking up spurious signals in your workshop or radio shack, um, you can lock them out. So it's another nice feature. As I can see, it has a nice backlight. Doesn't show up too good because I got so many lights on in here. So anyway, I just thought it, um, you might want to see this. This is and there's many radios in this category. There's many radios that have this service band capability, and uh, I think it's a neat feature. I can, like I say, go from listening to marine, listening to aircraft, listening to the hand bands just by pushing one of those buttons um, instead of having to program it in. Anyway. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. And have a great Mother's Day, everyone. Bye-bye.